Good morning, students. I am the picker. Hope you all are fine. I have made some podcasts of Chapter Seven, Urban Administration of Civics for Class Sixth. In recent times, there has been a rapid growth in the rate of urbanization due to growth of cities spread over big areas. A city is much bigger than a village and more spread out. A city has crowded markets, many buses and cars, water and electricity facilities, traffic control and hospitals. Have you ever wondered who is responsible for running all this? Do you know how decisions are made? How the planning is done. Who are the people who do all the work? So let's start our chapter with the help of a story to find the answers. One lazy Sunday afternoon, Mala and her friends Shankar, Jahangir, and Rehana were playing a game of cricket in the street. Shankar had bowled a good over and although he nearly managed to get rehana out she was still batting he bowled a short ball and hoped she would hit it for an easy catch instead rehana hit the ball so hard and so high that the street light broke rehana screamed oh no Look what I have done. Shankar said, "Yes, we forgot to make a rule that if you break the street light, you are automatically out." But Mala, Jahangir and Rehana were more worried about what had happened and they told Shankar to better stop thinking about the wicket. Last week They had broken Nirmala Mossy's window and had spent their pocket money to have it replaced. Would they have to dish out money again from their pockets? But who would they pay this to? To whom did the lights on the street belongs? Who changed them? Rehana's house was the closest and they ran and told her mother what had happened rehana's mother said i don't really know these things in great detail but i do know that it is the municipal corporation of the city that takes care of replacing lights the best person to ask would be yasmin khala she just retired from the municipal corporation go and ask her and rehana come back home soon yasmin khala lived in the same lane and she and rehana's mother were good friends the children ran to khala's house and when she opened the door they began to tell her what had happened all at once When they asked about the street light Yasmin Khala laughed and said There is no one that you can pay the money to There is a big organization called the municipal corporation that take cares of the street lights garbage collection water supply keeping the streets and market clean The municipal corporation is also responsible for ensuring that diseases do not break out in the city. It also runs schools, hospitals and dispensaries and makes gardens and maintains them, said Yasmin Khala. Then she added, "Our city Pune is a big city and So here it is a municipal corporation 
in smaller towns it is called a municipal council yasmin khala i'm curious who decides where a park should go did you have to make interesting decisions like this when you worked in the municipal corporation asked rehana no rehana i was working in the accounts office of the corporation so i just worked on pay slips cities are usually quite large so the municipal corporation has to make a lot of decisions as well as to do a lot of work to keep the city clean the decisions like where a park or a new hospital should go are usually made by the ward councillor the city is divided into different wards and ward councillors get elected the complicated decisions that affect the entire city are taken by group of councillors who form committees to decide and debate issues for example if bus stands need to be improved or a crowded market place need to have its garbage cleared more regularly it is these committees for water garbage collection street lighting etc that decides on the work to be done when the problems are within a ward then the people who live in the ward can contact their councillors for example if there are dangerous electrical wires hanging down the local councillor can help them get in touch with the electricity authority while the councillors committee and the councillors decide on issues the commissioner and the administrative staff implement these the commissioner and the administrative staff are appointed whereas councillors are elected so how are these decisions made asked rehana well all of the ward councillors meet and they make a budget and the money is spent according to this the ward councillors try and ensure that the particular demands of their wards are placed before the entire council these decisions are then implemented by the administrative staff said yasmin khala dear students now how does the municipal corporation get its money from providing and running so many services requires a lot of money the municipal corporation collects in different ways a tax is a sum of money that people pay to the government for the services the government provides people who own homes have to pay a property tax as well as tax for water and other services the larger the house the more the tax there are also taxes for education and other amenities after that shankar asked that the city is so large it must take a lot of people to look after it does the municipal corporation have a lot of workers he had by now luckily forgotten about the cricket match and his incomplete over yes the work in the city is divided into different departments so there is a water department the garbage collection department a department to look after gardens another to look after roads 